Okay, so in this video we're still on the topic of interfaces, but I want to talk about uh, an interface that is not a homemade interface like the rainbow interface in the last video, but rather one of the interfaces that comes with the .NET Framework class library. And there's like a, a handful, a small handful of interfaces that you will find useful and you might want to implement them in your, your own homemade classes. So for example, and the, and the, the one featured in this video is iClonable. And um, basically, if you implement this interface, remember an interface is like a contract. If you implement that interface, you absolutely must define the methods that are contained or listed in that interface. And iClonable, if I, if I implement that interface, like here I have a homemade rabbit class, and I want the rabbit object, any rabbit object, to be able to copy itself or clone itself. So um, I have implemented the iClonable interface, and what that means is I absolutely must define, if there's just one method, this one, the clone method, okay? And, and basically the implementation here is just, like creating a new rabbit, copying the, 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 the rabbit only has two data members, an image, the, the picture of the, the rabbit, and then the name of the rabbit, like Fluffy or Snowball, and that's it. And so the, uh, we'll create a new rabbit, we'll copy the picture, and then po copy the name, and then return the cloned rabbit, that's all. Notice the generic return type here. The, when you implement the clone method, you're returning a generic object, and we'll see how, how to work with that when we go over to the form class. And that's it. I'm not going to talk about the shallow copy versus deep copy in this video. I am going to post a document for you so you can read about that, but that's something to keep in mind when you're cloning objects. So anyway, there's my uh, rabbit class that implements iClonable. I have done my job, and I've defined that clone method. Just to prove a point here, I'm going to comment that out and look the compiler is complaining okay so let me uncomment that oops okay so now over in the form class I you know basically the, this program is kind of another pointless program here but I'm creating a rabbit I'm calling it snowball all right this is a new rabbit all right and then I'm going to create a list of, of rabbits I'm going to call it snowball clones I'm going to clone that snowball rabbit five times and create five clones of him okay and I'm gonna put those snowball clones into a list of type rabbit called snowball clones and so here I'm just using a for loop to call the um, the clone method on snowball five times the loop goes five times and for each clone that comes back it's going into the the list the the list which is called snowball clones and that's it um, notice, I, just to remind you that when we clone an object, whatever that object is, the return type is generic object. So when we're over here and we actually want to work with that object, you have to put a cast. I can't just, if I get, take that out, now the compiler's complaining. I cannot convert generic object to rabbit. You have to put a cast on that. So. That's it. And so the interface is nothing to write home about. I do have, you know, this is another example where I'm using graphics to draw directly on the form. And uh, so here we'll see, I'll click the clone button and there are the clones. That's it. So the point is the interface, implementing an interface and holding your feet to the fire and defining the methods that are contained in that interface. 